I think today sees the release of two new products from TaylorMade that are gonna, well, probably make me eat my words. In fact, from what I've seen so far, you should forget everything that I've said. Well, almost everything. So these two new clubs are additions to the Stealth lineup. And before I go on to look at why they were not quite what I expected, I think we should just have a little look at uh, exactly what they are and how they might fit into your bag. So the two clubs in question are the UDI and the DHY. The UDI being the ultimate driving iron and the DHY being a driving hybrid. And trust me, they are very, very different. Right, so first of all, TM have done an incredible job in the looks department as they have done with all the Stealth products, in my opinion, this year. They both consist of a new forged face and it's made from 4140 steel and as a hollow body design, they've got that speed foam air injected, which is the lighter version of the original speed foam. But that is where the similarities end because from here on in, they are completely different clubs. And the first notable difference is their profile. If you see these two things at address, first of all with the UDI, there's not a great deal to see in terms of that back end, whereas the DHY is very much that driving hybrid as they call it. You've got that bulk and mass at the back side of it. And I would say from my perspective, with the so little loft in these two three irons that you're looking at, I'm much more swayed towards the DHY in terms of a confidence perspective. But then it's the weight placement again, which is significantly different. As you can see from these visible weight ports, one is on the sole, that's on the DHY, and the other one is very low on the face or on the back side of the face in terms of uh, the UDI. And obviously that's to do two different things. The weight placement on the UDI is very much a sort of low spinning, low ball flight, and that weight placement into the sole is to give you some height and help and assistance with launch in terms of the DHY. So like I said, very, very similar in terms of looks, very, terms, very similar in terms of what they're made of, but nothing like in terms of what they're aimed at in terms of the golfer each club should be perhaps in the hands of. So one other quick mention is there is a brand new shaft in both of these clubs and it's from Aldila, it's the Ascent shaft and they're very much different weighted and the heavier weight as you'd expect are the options in the UDI. Right, the thing that really interests me about this range is that the lofts are split very much between two iron right the way through to five iron between both of these clubs and the lofts are slightly different as you can see between each of the two models. So why is that interesting? Well, first of all, my previous video that I stated was that why do they continue to make these clubs? In particular, I was referencing the UDI and the two iron, which for most average golfers is a real tough club to use. Not only tough to use, but has little versatility in my opinion and why I really shied away from that two iron in particular. However, certainly with the option of the greater lofts, this gets really interesting. Right now, it's about to play a five iron equivalent at least the five in the dhy out of the rough i'm really interested to see how this thing performs because ideally having perhaps the three four or the five iron in the dhy is sort of the way i would look at it this gives you a lot more options in the bag and perhaps where it could possibly sneak into mine yeah. well, what i can tell you is the ball flight is nothing like what I expected, as in being far higher. It's popped it out of the rough really well and really impressively. Like I said, it wasn't exactly sat down. The yardage is, uh, well, that's probably carried a sort of a 170, 180 as far as where I got the run out to be. So again, really impressed with what it's done out of the rough and that five iron option, only a couple of shots I've hit of it. That one out of the rough, of it, a couple off the tee, the ball travels extremely well indeed. And at the moment, like I said, I'm starting to eat my words slightly about driving hybrids at least. Okay, so the two shots you're gonna see me hit now off that uh, tee box, the first being that of the UDI. And I'll be honest, these are three irons, by the way. I've got to admit, I was quite surprised on the ball flight of this uh, UDI. It was higher than I expected it to be. Um, finished center of the fairway, really good strike. And then I play the DHY, which is the second shot you see me hit it did fly quite a bit higher, launch quite a bit higher. And again, 
the three iron both surprised me in terms of how they launched but yes the dhy was that bit higher therefore didn't have the run out that we got uh, on that udi so yes different in terms of ball flight and launch but maybe again different than what i expected it to be certainly in terms of the udi it was a lot higher than uh, i thought it'd achieve off the tee anyway let's hit one of these into the green so for me again from a tight lay on the fairway i'd normally be going to a fairway wood and uh, from a from a sort of confidence perspective i've got the four dhy in hand and it's probably the lowest lofted i'd want to go with to be honest with you um i'm not sure i quite have the confidence with anything uh, with less loft than this and it's also worth mentioning at this point that the udis have considerably less visual offset than that of the dhy as well so uh, let's see if we can pick this one up off the fairway on a tight lie all right so really i mean i've got to say and i've just said to hannah off camera what's been impressive is just that we found a lot of fairways with this club uh, we've very much kept it straight and uh, where, like I said, I was critical in recent weeks of that sort of two UDI type of iron, um, there's a lot of comments and feedback that suggested people choose to play these irons longer irons because of the control or greater control than that of perhaps the sort of fairway woods. And uh, I've certainly seen out here today that, you know, it has rang true even in my hands. And whilst they've nowhere been, I'm not able to generate enough club head speed to get the equivalent distances of perhaps that I see in fairway woods i've certainly kept the ball in play under control and uh, i suppose arguably that's really important could be good could be good yeah i'm happy with that and it's, uh, i've been happy to be honest with you the performance of these uh, udi and the dhy in particular for me at least and i think that what they've managed to bring out here is that um, I think the UDI is still, well, we know it's aimed at the better player. And uh, I don't really think that I would be comfortable with putting those in the bag. But the DHY is a different thing altogether from me. And like I said, they have, they, as I've said through the video, they are very, very different products. And I think if you kind of want the, the sort of like the look of a long iron at address, like the workability of a long iron in terms of your game, don't necessarily like hybrids as a backup option then I think that this could be the perfect uh, well, hybrid I was going to use of the two. So very much characteristics of a long iron with a bit of bulk and mass to help. And uh, I think it's a real interesting option. And the fact that it's available up to a five iron in that DHY gives you plenty of versatility in the bag. So I'm going to leave it there. Comments down below, what are your thoughts? I've got to say, I mean, overall, my, my thoughts are I've been hugely impressed. I've not really spoke about the one final thing I've just thought is that I've hit a couple of these off the bottom grooves when I've not swung particularly well. That's the bit, again, what I find interesting about clubs nowadays is not how they perform when they come out the middle, but when they're out the bottom grooves. And like I said, these have done outperformed uh, where they should have really ended up in terms of the quality of the strike that I've put on them. So again, I think it's fair to say I'm hugely impressed. My next thing to do is I want to do a test in my next video is comparing similar sort of loft options in long iron hybrid options and see then just how these things uh, perform for me at least anyway. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. We've been out here again early morning at Carden Park. It's been a lovely, lovely day. I can't wait to read your feedback and thoughts yourselves on what you think of this new Stealth Range, addition to the Stealth Range from TaylorMade. And I'll see you all very soon.